thermal rat vision. Oh, I put some pepper in his sauce. Dude, Gambian pouch rat. Got that one, son. I don't want none of that. They're everywhere. That's creepy. Hey, what's up, happy people? I am Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are out here in the Indian River Lagoon in Martin County, Florida. This behind me is the Intracoastal Waterway. It runs from the Florida Keys all the way north to Maine. Along that waterway, we have what's called Spoil Islands. Spoil Islands are, through time, Army Corps of Engineers and other entities, they dig out the channel so that it gives passage for large boats. Well, when they dig it out, they bunch it up and it's called a spoil island. The spoil island then creates habitat for mangroves and all types of crabs and birds and whatnot. This is a natural refuge for wood storks. Wood storks are critically endangered and this is one of their major nesting habitats. I mean, those are all juvenile wood storks behind me. That is a frigate. It lives out in the open ocean. It's got a wingspan of around nine feet. If it gets wet with salt water, it will die. It's got a protective oil on its wings. And if the salt water gets on them, it, it takes off the oil, they get saturated and they can't fly. That's an amazing bird. It's called a frigate. Well, just over here, we have a few spoil islands that have been inundated by an invasive Gambodian pouch rat. These rats came from overseas on cargo ships. They got loose and they go to these islands. There will not be a single bird alive on any of those islands. Anytime they nest, the rats crawl up, they devour the eggs, they kill the babies, and it's good for nothing. Luckily, I have a great friend at sportoptics.com named Chris Wisecarver. I told him I need an air rifle with a thermal optic. He said, let me do some work and I'm gonna get you taken care of. This isn't just about killing rats. This is about protecting nature. Rats, here we come. All right, so we just got to the island and the first thing I notice, listen. Okay, now let's go back to where all the birds were. Listen to this. Now listen here. No birds, why? This is actually better habitat than over there. But because there's rats, Gambodian pouch rats on this island, out of luck. We just pulled up here. Instantaneously, we saw rats running everywhere. This is a Umarex 22 caliber. It's got a thermal optic on top. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put uh, sport optics down in the link below. If you need to know anything about thermal, just contact them. They know what's what. I'm not an expert on it. I, I enjoy using thermal. I love the capabilities that it provides. But if you want to know all the options, just contact Chris Wisecarver and all the professionals over at Sport Optics. Now, let's go bust some rats upside the head. <laughs> I put some pepper in his sauce. I've got the crosshairs on one. It's so thick in here. Oh gosh, I see one right here. It's gonna be a long shot. That was my best shot yet. Hard left. No, aim the gun, aim the gun. He's right point blank. Low, 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 low. There. Got that one, son. Look at the size of this rascal. Dude. Gambian pouch rat. That right there is the whole reason 
There's no birds on this island. Critters just like that. But tomorrow, I got a pond about 15 miles from here that has giant catfish in it. We're gonna use these rats to feed the catfish. Cause I ain't eating it. But we ain't done hunting either. We're gonna see if we can't get another one. Look at that. <laughs> That's creepy. We're straight going gangster on these little rascals. I mean, there ain't even hardly any fresh water on this island, but these jokers, they don't care. They are by the millions out here. When we were kids, this used to be a fun place to come camp. Still is, but who wants to come camp where there's a gazillion rats? That ain't cool. Oh, son, he cannot handle that. This little Umarex air rifle is magic, man. Hey, I don't want none of that. Thermal rat vision. Here's what I find amazing. All this hunting we've been doing, and I'm still well into the green. I mean, it wasn't even... It's only used like a quarter of that. We're just sneaking down the beach real quiet and I hear something. Lo and behold, it's Dustin Dottilio. I know this rascal. Yeah. What are you doing, crazy? Going camping. <laughs> he actually caught his first dolphin with me years ago. His yeah. dad's a really good friend of mine, Tim Dottilio. Yeah. And uh, what are you guys doing? Well, we just set up camp and I've been, I got here yesterday. And we fished all day today and then stayed again tonight and we're gonna leave tomorrow. No way! Yeah. So we've been shooting a bunch of the Gambian pouch rats. Have you guys had any around here? So many. They're everywhere. No way. Yeah. All trying to get our food and stuff. Let's see if we can go find a couple more rats. Yeah, they're all up in these trees right here. Oh, I just heard one. They're in the thicket right there. There's one. Oh, come on, boy. Oh, stop. Let's come back here. There's one right there. Got him. Tear him up. You guys want to cook him? Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Got him. All right, you guys, we're gonna head back to the boat, see if we can't find a couple more. And then we're going catfishing with rats. <laughs> see you, boy. All right, it was good seeing you guys. Don't get carried off. Hey, see you, boy. Have a good night, guys. Yeah. Empty drum out. Fresh drum in. Go time. These rats are like, you can tell how thick everything is and they're just running through it. So you're trying to get a shot and they're like bouncing all over the place. He's looking at me right here. That one ain't gonna walk away from that. And here's the deal, as soon as I look away, if I'm not looking through the scope, it's complete darkness. I got a big one right here. Don't move. Hold on. Fire. <laughs> this thing is like a tack driver. I mean, just rolled him over. He's just twitching. So easy. We got one back there, deep in the bush. Come on, step out. This is about as fun as it could be. But at the same time, I feel like I'm doing really good work for the island. We just keep doing laps up and down the island and every time we walk, we see more and more and more. I'd have to say, this has been a successful hunt. I don't know, I don't even know how many we got. We got a whole bunch of them. Uh, there's no way on earth it would be possible without that thermal air rifle. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. And let's just say we didn't blood trail them all. I bet you we shot probably 20 others that we couldn't find that ran off and it's just like, we got enough catfish bait for one night. Now, we're gonna pack up, we're gonna head back to the boat ramp and then we will see you in the morning. Whoosh. We're always out here scouting, looking for stuff, and the water's really low, and they say there are huge catfish. I want to just see if a catfish will come up and annihilate one of these rats, but it actually looks like an alligator's coming to annihilate one of these rats. He's going to eat it for sure. The alligator just grabbed the rat. To me, watching wildlife like this, this is the true circle of life. Like, we went out there, killed those rats. Now we're here looking for a new catfish hole. Next thing you know, we've got an alligator devouring rats. That is so cool. Looks like they went to a good use. That old alligator's got him a belly full of rat now. I want to tell you, right there, you, I'm going to tell you thank you so much for being a part of this. If you haven't already, go check out DeerMeatForDinner.com. We've got a bunch of new shirts, uh, and I'm going to be putting that hat right there. It says DMFD, Deer Meat For Dinner on the back, TGBTG, to God be the glory, and on the side, favorite of fishing. Go check it out, DeerMeatForDinner.com, and... Uh, your support of our merch really helps us to do cool things. We're heading to Alaska, and we will see you soon. Take care, God bless, and we gone.